What is this? Geez, <laughs> Sam, what's going on here? Uh, I was doing some experiments with soda and didn't notice that everything, uh, spilled out. Well, look at this mess. I guess the experiment was a success. Sue, just don't worry, I'll clean everything up. Oh, really? Of course, a scientist is always responsible for the consequences of his experiment. Oh, I'm glad you're so responsible. I hope you had fun playing with soda. I had so much fun! I adore both experiments and soda. So you'll surely like my idea. We're going to make our own soda fountain machine, which will carefully pour soda into the glasses. Ah, it's a great idea, Sue. I could burst with happiness! Okay, I'm going to start. Join me when you're done cleaning. Oh, so hard is the scientist's fate. Hello, guys! Do you want to make a soda fountain machine from cardboard? I'm sure you do. To start, we need these two buddies. Also a piece like this. This L-shaped piece, and... Hello, everyone! I hope I'm not late, Sue. You're just in time, Sammy. Can you guess what we're going to do now? Sure, we... We... Uh... We... Wait a minute... Are we going to build a house? Are we building a house, Sue? <laughs> you could say that. We're building a house for soda. It's a whole castle and I'm its keeper. Let me finish, Mr. Castellan. Castle? Who? Castellan. They used to call castle or fortress keepers this in the Middle Ages. Well, I like that. Sounds impressive. Seems like I start getting into a new character. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, the Castellan of the Soda Castle, and my assistant, Sue. Bravo, bravo. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sammy, actually, Castellans look different, but you were cute. Right, guys? This is what our machine looks like right now. Great, now let's move on to making the face of the machine. Wait, are you saying the machine has a face? I mean, it's a front panel where you put your money and push buttons to get your drink. <laughs> Oh, I love buttons, Sue. Great, Sammy. Why don't you make buttons for our machine? Okay, and why don't you guys subscribe to our channel? This way, everyone will be busy. <laughs> Boss Sam. Here I've prepared a piece of cardboard approximately 16 by 28 centimeters. And I cut out a 9 by 19 centimeter piece. I used a cutter for this. But be careful and don't be shy to ask an adult for help. The blade is very sharp. Then, you have to cut a hole like this to insert money. Soda isn't free, right? <laughs> we also need to cut out a hole for the button. Speaking of buttons, Sammy! The buttons are ready, Sue! Wow, well done. We only need to glue them to the front panel. I can do it myself, Susie. Of course, Sammy, go ahead. I'm glad you're helping me. In the meantime, I'm going to draw 12 identical circles for the next stage. Hey, Sue! Done. Let's see. Good job, Sammy. Except for... What do you want to say, Sue? Not all the buttons are in their places, Sammy. Right? Yeah. I guess I mixed them up a bit, Sue. No problem, Sammy. We'll fix it a bit later. Now we need to stick these guys together. What's wrong, Sammy? You look very sad. I'm sad I messed up the buttons. Oh no, Sammy, please cheer up. We all make mistakes at times. Really, Sue? Of course. Don't you remember how Fluffy once put his head in a box and couldn't get it out? <laughs> right. Thanks, Sue. I'm feeling way better. Guys, if you agree that usually Sam is an amazing assistant, give a thumbs up. And we are inserting the skewer into the cylinder. By the way, this little stick is about 12 centimeters long. I'll use some glue to secure it. This thing looks like a barbell. A very tiny and light barbell. It really does. Look at it. Now we're going to hide our barbell in a piece of cardboard like this. Or you can use craft paper instead. Sammy, could you... Bring some insulating tape. Wow, I don't understand how you do this. What exactly? Reading your mind? Yes, and guessing when I need your help. I suppose it's simply my job, Sue. 
Let's see if you can read my mind this time. What do you say, Sue? Oh, Sammy, you never stop impressing me! So let's put three rubber bands on the barbell. That's what we'll call it. Uh, I love soda, especially Coke. No, Fanta. No, well, I don't even know. They're all cool. We're all set. By the way, guys, what is your favorite drink? Write in the comments. We'd love to read them later. Now we need four popsicle sticks. I made two holes in sticks beforehand. I think adults can help you with that step. I wish I had invented the first soda machine, Sue. I'm not so sure, Sammy. No? Why not, Sue? Well, I think the first soda was sold in pharmacies as medicine. What? Oh no, Susie, you just broke my heart! Soda in a pharmacy? Ew! Right, we also need two cylinders like this. Each of them consists of eight cardboard discs. I think I'd like to start my own cafe with soda and ice cream. Guys, would you come to my cafe? Write in the comments what you think about this idea. Hey, you dreamer, you're gonna miss your favorite part. It's time to install the motor. Look, I'm attaching to make sure that the cogwheel is on the side of these little spools. We're almost there, guys. Soon we'll see the mechanism in action. Phew, I'm not late. Perfect. Guys, to make our system work, I've connected the motor to a switcher and a battery. Let's finally test the mechanism. Okay. It seems that it's working. Hooray. Now we need a bottle cap with two holes. Hey, this cap reminds me of the one we used last time when we were making a soda dispenser. Remember, guys? Only that dispenser didn't have buttons with numbers and it didn't take money. Hey, that machine had its own benefits. It... Shh! No spoilers! Let the guys see it themselves. And you guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up. This will help you wake up in a good mood. I heard you, Sammy. Um, Susie! I know what it is! You do? Come on, surprise me. This is a pump which will deliver soda through the tubes with the help of the battery. Now we put the mechanism together using the soldering tool. Guys, ask an adult to help you with this step. Carefully now. There. Phew, the most difficult part is done. So Sam, are you ready for experiments? I'm always ready. We only need to attach the pump to this tube. Well, I can explain everything myself. Go ahead. So we connected our pump and the chain to the motor. And when we push this button, soda will flow. Well done, Sammy. And now, voila, everything is in its place. Hey, Sue, what are we gonna do now? Now comes the most interesting part. We're making a hole for soda. Inserting this tube here. Another tube? Oh, this system is so complicated. And here's your favorite soda. Right, the last step is to cover the front part. Guys, be careful with hot glue. I'll glue it here carefully. Hmm, something's missing. And... Pop! And the finishing touch? Our roof. Wait to drink some cold soda. I overheard that you wanted some Coke, didn't you? Actually, yes, I did. <laughs> You'll have to pay. Buy a can of cold Coke right from the fridge. Refreshing soda. You know, Sammy, the job of a salesman is a hard one. You'll get tired real fast. Plus, the customers may not come and your business will fail. And actually, in our AI era, it's not very cool to work behind the counter. Hmm. Huh, you're right. But I wanted to earn some money. Oh, uh, don't worry, I have an idea. Let's make a soda vending machine. It'll give out Coke and collect money in one secure place. Whoa, a vending machine with a money slot? I'm in. Hi, guys. To help Sam make some money on soda, we'll make a vending machine. First, we'll have to make the internal mechanism. How's it going, Shoe? Is it gonna be ready soon? I can't wait! Sammy, I just started. I'm making the first part. 
Be careful with the cutter, guys. And what's that? A money slot? No, this is the thing to give the soda out. Sue, the can doesn't fit in this tube. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> no, no, it's just a start. These sticks will push out the cans. I already glued them in twos. Almost all of our parts will be made that way. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> What's with this slime? We just started the craft and he's already suspecting something. Together with Sam, we often make cardboard vending machines. Guys, give a thumbs up for our useful hobby. Sam, did you want to help me a little bit? By the mozzarella, you want me to cut out something? <laughs> Wrong guess. I will trust you to a more difficult task. You'll have to cut through these sticks according to the lines. Can you do it? Whoa, that's a new level. I will do it very carefully and won't fail you. In fact, I already cut out, glued, and painted these cardboard pieces myself. <laughs> Each part for the body is made from two layers of cardboard. And these holes are for that tube with sticks. Here is the future window to see our Coke. All these parts should be durable enough to handle several soda cans at once. By the way, the very first machines which sold soda in bottles appeared in only the 1930s. They sold two types of soda. Those were Coca-Cola and Pepsi. I think there are only two types of people. Some just drink Coke and others only Pepsi. <laughs> there are rumors that the taste differs a lot. Here, the mechanism to hold and give up the cans is ready. A little more. Bring it on. Go glue. And bingo! It was an important moment. Each craft I'm worried about gluing because what's glued can't be removed! Guys, I'm waiting for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications! Oh, each new craft is super Sammy, exciting! the craft is waiting! Oopsie! I guess I got too much into the video, but they are very interesting indeed. I guess Sam's too busy with sawing the sticks. He's still not here. <sighs> oh, here he comes, and our parts as well. So how did you like the task, Sammy? It, it was just a little challenging, but I managed it, as you can see. You know that challenges make you a little stronger and bring experience, right? Yes, now I can call myself a carpenter, the creator of small cute sticks which remind me of popsicles. You assign professions to yourself so easily. <laughs> yep, assigning professions is easier than sawing thin sticks. Uh, of course it's easier to say than to do. Do you know who really likes making different cool stuff? Uh, me, you, us? Yeah, us as well, but most of all the Japanese. Do you know how many useful vending machines they have? I came up with a game. You tell me about some machine, and I will have to guess if it's real or not. Let's see how smart I am. Huh, interesting. It's almost like truth or dare. I'm in. I'm ready. OK, so a tie vending machine. Huh, I think it exists. <laughs> Correct. Next, hmm, a Lego vending machine. Yep, I saw it on the internet. You can't trick me. Okay, that was easy. Um, a bicycle helmet vending machine? Uh, I doubt it, but I would say yes. Right, you can find them in Australia. Bring on the last riddle. Car vending machine. That's ridiculous, too. It's not possible. <laughs> You're wrong. They even built a whole vending building for it. The customer inserts a special coin into the slot, and the car is given out like a chocolate. <laughs> I still think that you made it up. How can a machine give out a whole car? Let's make a bet. If it's true, then you cut out the rest of the parts. Deal. I'll go Google about the rise of the machine. Guys, I bet you can't hit the subscribe button really fast. <laughs> and also give a thumbs up so we know that you like our videos. Let's check how our mechanism is functioning. Ding! Hooray! The coin gets into the trap. As you understand, I lost a bet to Sue and cut out parts for the craft. Yep. Car yeah. vending machines really do exist. Sammy, thanks for the parts. You did great. Well, if we bet on this kind of work, then I'm okay with that. It's even fun. Even if I lose, it won't be difficult to repay the debt, because I like cardboard. Once I lost a whole kilo of it, I'll let a bet to the Timidabians. That was disappointing. Your gambling nature won't do you any good. What was that bet about? That I can't eat fire or your cookies in a minute without washing them down? Fair 
you're right, it's impossible. <laughs> the Tibidabians played you, Sammy. That's an old prank. No one can eat so many cookies without any liquid. Those Tibidabians are big jokers, and Sam falls for it. <laughs> I have a delicate and naive soul, and I like taking risks. <laughs> Oh, Sammy, you're a better pranker than any of the Tibidabians. Sometimes I'm shocked by your jokes. But it was so funny when you applied toothpaste instead of cream on your hand. Yeah, that was amusing. But I also played a good joke on you. Remember? Yeah, I still remember that bowl of marbles instead of candies. You wrapped them so nicely and I couldn't understand why the candies were not sweet and didn't melt in my mouth. Sammy, could you bring me a can of Coke from your store? I need to test the mechanism. Oopsie, I almost drank everything. I totally forgot that we had to fill the vending machine. Oh, how many cans did we lose? Uh, just three. I used them to wash down the cookies. My throat was all dry. Oh, so it's the cookies' fault. Okay, how many do we have? Six, I think. Yeah, cookies are very dangerous. They get into your throat and stick there if you don't wash it down. I think that'll be enough. Look how our mechanism is working. The coin gets here, and then I press the button. Guys, note that smaller change does not work. A can of Coke costs 50 cents. And now we'll make a slide for the coin. This way they'll get into the mechanism. Just a couple of touches and… Now we install it and make sure that the coin falls into the right place. We hide the mechanism from prying eyes. A book is judged by its cover. And crafts as well. And the responsible person for the cover is our great decorator. Here he is. Well, I'm tired of watching the coins fall into nowhere. Take this box. It's so adorable, but it can't fit a lot of coins. Then we'll just take them out more often and spend on Coke. A cycle. Sammy, all you do is take money out from piggy banks. They're actually meant for saving money. Whoosh. You know, Sue, sometimes I walk by one of your piggy banks and get totally enchanted. You make them so cool and beautiful. <laughs> You're such a flatterer, Sammy. And then it's like a delusion. I wake up with a handful of coins and I hear them whispering, Spang us, spang. <laughs> Sammy, you definitely have a wild imagination. Sure, check out my idea of craft decoration. Oh, a template. I guess we've never done it this way. <laughs> Let's try. Guys, remember that you need a good ventilated room to work with spray paint. Better do it outside. And don't forget to protect your clothes, hands, and face from the paint. It spreads really fast and really far. I think we're getting something awesome. I love it. Thumbs up for Sam's brilliant decoration ideas. And a bit more. I can't wait to see the result. It's time for our Coke cans. We load them inside. Great. We loaded the machine and prepared the coin. Dear friends, we are here today to celebrate the opening of the new vending machine by Sam and Sue Industrial. A round of applause! So, shall we test our machine in action? is for me. Yum yum. Wow! A Coke fountain! <laughs> and this is mine! Ah, we did great. Now we need a good rest. Do you agree? Give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye! Cheers! Bye-bye!